these are the Apollo V1 minis. I use to mine Ethereum. They produce 300 mega hash per second and uses 240 watts. I'm pretty sure you recognize them. Uh, I switched to Ethereum Classic Plus Silica, and I've been doing that for the past uh, mining that for the past few months. But today I want to show you how to mine Octa Space. Octa Space is a new coin. It's cloud. It's a cloud platform that allows you to rent uh, resources uh, like distributed computing, like CPUs, uh, GPUs, and space. It's relative new and it's the most profitable for these guys today. So I want to show you how to configure them and how to use the uh, one of the pools that are available for, for these guys. Uh, I'm not sure if you have ROI on them, but this is the most profitable right now. So I want to show you how to put it to a better use uh, and, see, and give it a chance, right? It's, it's speculative mining at this point, but um, I think we can we can make some, some good results uh, if, if it takes off. Uh, they recently established a maximum cap on the amount of, of coins that uh, supply that they're going to provide onto the market. So I think it's going to help with the price. So let's let's jump into it. I like this type of projects, right? Distributing computer where you have resources at home, maybe unused resources, GPUs. CPUs or a new space and then you provide that to the network and you get rewarded. That's exactly what I want to do. So when I when I hear about Octospace, I actually hear because of the of the rewards uh, on my iPolo minis, right? If you go to hashrate.no, you click on ASICs, uh, you can see Octa is coming uh, first place, right? Uh, with the Just Miner X16, it's making what, $7.35 per day on uh, 584 profits. That's pretty good. Uh, for my iPolo Mini V1 Minis, here they are, they're top one as well. They're making 48 cents uh, net after power. Um, I was mining actually Ethereum Classic Plus Silica, but they're not, Ethereum, it's not, I mean, these iPolo Mini are not making much these days. Uh, with, for Ethereum Classic, it's just two cents net uh, per day. So I, I that's how I got into Octospace. And then I started researching and then I realized, you know, it's really early, but it's good that it's early. Uh, I like being early. So this is a proof of uh, proof of work network and proof of um, authority side chain. So they have kind of two layers, layer one proof of work, layer two proof of authority, maybe a smaller group of um, validators to speed up transactions. So I like that. They launched GPU, VPN marketplace, and they also added uh, AMD GPU support. Uh, now they're in this integration phase after launching testnet and they have this really nice dashboard uh, with the active nodes across the globe 197 you can see here they're distributed across uh, the globe um, last uh, block time the average block time here the average network hash rate 1.8 terahash per second and difficulty 21.52 terahash and then you can set up your own node here. See here, intro to nodes. They are known as Octa nodes. It's a computer with available CPU, GPUs, memory, and disk space. Uh, here you have the, the software requirements uh, and the staking requirements. For to staking and VPN, you have you need one CPU, one gigabyte of RAM, ten gigabits of free disk, and a static one static IPv4 address. And then you can set up GPU nodes with minimum system requirements with two GPUs, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 50 gigabytes of free space, static IPv4 address, and NVIDIA or AMD, both are supported. So you can read this article and go more into detail. Now, in terms of staking and to set up your own node, you need a collateral of 100,000 Octa, which is pretty significant amount of, of Octa here. If you check, let's check on the price. Octa right now is 28, you know, between 28 cents uh, per octa. So that's the right, right there is uh, 28,000 US dollars. All right, enough oh, with the overview. Let's let's talk about mining. We can talk about notes later in another video. Let me know if you're interested in notes. But uh, for mining, we need a wallet, right? So uh, let's go ahead and click here wallets. And the good news is we can use uh, MetaMask. Uh, we need to set up a new network. So if you have MetaMask, go ahead and add a new network. I'll show you, you go to MetaMask here, and then you go here, add network. 
that's uh, metamask opening and then add network manually so we would like to you know configure all these fields all right so have that ready and then what you're gonna do is let's go here and you're gonna say network name you're gonna you're gonna copy octa space like that chain id is 800001 so you're gonna copy that uh blocks explorer url that's at the bottom I'm gonna copy that HTTPS and the RPC URL is right there. HTTPS colon slash slash RPC that octa that space and the symbol is OCTA, all capital. So you're gonna copy all that information in here. Your name, RPC, URL, chain ID, current symbol, and block. I already done that. So once you have that uh, done, you're gonna have your uh, MetaMask. A wallet and you're gonna look like this let's go here I have my octa there so you're gonna see the the octa tokens there all right this is the version I have I polo v1 mini y5 but you may have another one that that mines uh, ethereum so what we need to do now we gotta access this this device right and for that I'm gonna go to support uh, instructions here I'm gonna select my device the mini instructions and there should be a file here to detect the IP address uh, where is it uh, here show IP so go ahead and download that file to show IP and then extract the file and once you extract the file it's gonna show like that that's the show IP executable file I'm gonna double click yes okay so we want to leave this window open and then we want to go to the to the back here or, or the front maybe the front of the device and see here it says IP report that little button we want to press it and then the IP is going to show up on our screen here so I'm going to leave this command screen open and I'm going to go and, and click that button for one second and the IP address pop up here. I have two because I have two devices. I'm gonna go ahead and copy the first one there. Control C, open a new tab and just paste it directly there. And that's the interface, that's the, the front panel. So go ahead and type password for root. All right. And this, this uh, guy is already mining a 305. 305 uh, mega hash per second. Uh, so what we want to do now is we want to configure this, um, and we're gonna go to minor configuration here. I'm mining on Crazy Pool. Uh, they have a server on US. But go ahead and check uh, mining pool stats that stream, and, and type octa, octa space there. And here's the list of all the the mining pools, and you can check depending on your location which one you prefer um, let me see crazy pool is here let's go ahead and click there all right this is the one i'm using and depending on your location asia europe usa brazil hong kong australia you need to use this server and this is the stratum port so what we're gonna do is i'm in the usa so us.crazypool.org and stratum port 5225 so Go, go go get to your uh, pool configuration and type stratum plus tcp colon slash slash and that's the the the, the, the url us.crazypool.org uh, just just copy directly from there there it is and then uh, the the port number 5225 now for the worker you need your uh, metamask octa space uh, address so go ahead and go to your metamask all right copy there make sure you are on the octa space here right on the network copy that there and paste it there and then that and name your worker so in this case for me it's, it's mini o2 so it's a dot there separating for passwords just a lowercase x will do it then go ahead and, and click save and apply and wait a couple of minutes for the worker to restart. And there you are, we, we're mining Octa Space now. You can see around 300 mega hash per second. Uh, you should see, um, depending on the device you have, this mini V1, that's, that's the amount of, of mega hash they produce. 
All right, so uh, this is working. And now I'm gonna go ahead and check on Crazy Pool. Uh, just go ahead and paste your address there, your wallet address there. Look up and you should see your stats. Um, I've been mining for less than, an, when, than a day, so I don't have a, a daily, let me see, no daily, hourly. So I've been mining uh, two devices, uh, so 600 megahertz here. All right, and the, the payments I believe is once a day. Uh, so last night I got paid 19, 19 cents octa and I have an unpaying balance of 4.17 octa. Let's go ahead and check uh, the rewards amount, how we should get uh, per day, right? Let's go ahead and check that. Let's go to mining stat, there it is. Mining, all right, octa. Let's go to calculator here. So we're gonna do where's octa here. I have two devices, 600, and this is, I believe, 400 watts. I'm using with two devices. Calculate. All right, should be paying in revenue. Uh, so 6.88 octa per day, which is 236 at the price of today. 236 with 96 cents of power cost. That's 140, 140 uh, per day, right? $1.40 per day. All right, and this is significantly better than that uh, Ethereum Classic. So let's go ahead and, and check how much are these uh, miners nowadays and how, what, what kind of ROI if this trend continues. Um, let's go ahead and I'm using BT-miners. I purchased some ASICs before here. So I'm gonna check on the earnings. Let's go ahead. All right, I'm gonna just uh, filter out everything and leave ETC here and sort by ROI. So the Bitman Antmeyer E9 Pro, that's the one that has the lowest ROI, but this is if we assume mining just ETC, right? Ethereum Classic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this uh, value, 3.68 giga hash. Let's do that on uh, hash rate calculator, 3.68. So let's do that, 3.68. There it is, 3,680, and let's do 2,200. I believe it's 2,200. Uh, yeah, 2,200 2, watts. All right, let's see what kind of uh, what kind of rewards we're getting. All right, so that that ain't miner uh, ain't miner will do uh, 41 octa per day, 15 dollars uh, on revenue with a $5.28 of power cost, so that's a $9.80 uh, per day. Uh, let's see let's see the cost nowadays. So $1,700, so $1,800, right? $1,800 and almost $10 a day. That's uh, $300, $300 a month. So $1,799 divided $300. So, five point, so six months of ROI. With at, at these rates, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Six months uh, compared to ETC, right? Um, and look at this. This is the iPolo V1 Mini. So if I if I were just to mine ETC only, I will be making just nine cents per day. But with this, I'm making one, well, almost seventy cents per day, right? So seven times more. All right, I'm gonna keep an eye on Octa Space. You know, price is, is keeps going up, apparently it's, it's recovering. I did read there's this an article, uh, where is it? That explained uh, the cap on the maximum supply. So I'll see if I can find it. There it is Octa Space implements maximum supply, ensuring long-term sustainability and economic stability. Um, our primary consideration behind implementing a maximum supply is to ensure a sufficient supply of Octa coins in circulation by striking the right balance between supply and demand dynamics. Octaspace aims to support ongoing transactions and facilitate the seamless rental of services on its platform. Um, here it says optimizing the monetary policy. The, op the Octaspace team has concluded extensive evaluations and calculations to determine an optimized supply model to promote economic stability and sustain the functionality of the platform. And here you can see the, the, the by blocks, the release, right? Uh, total mining, uh, staking, and the development fee. 
All right, so I think I believe the maximum supply will be will reach 48 million. That's it. 48 million octa will be released throughout the years 2027. Uh, looking ahead, when, with this implementation of the maximum supply, OctaSpace demonstrates its commitment to long-term sustainability and the principles of decentralized finance. Um, all right, so there you are. That's, that's how they're going to cap the maximum supply. That will probably bring the price up in the future. We'll see. we got to keep an eye on this project. I'll, I like the project, I mean, the, the, the concept, right? Uh, here explains the reward distribution, 60% uh, base reward. Uh, and then you, BPN, if you have a BPN node or a REN node, you get 10%. And if you have a GPA, GPU node, you get 20% on top. Um, but like I say, you need 100,000 Octa. So in the meantime, we got to keep mining Octa or you, we got to save up to have 100,000 100, Octa. I'm going to go sort by price here and I can see the cheapest iPolo V1 Mini Classic. Uh, it's running for about 219. These are used, probably. These are used. Let's go go ahead and double check. Uh, yeah, these are used. The news at 3.98. All right, used, uh, but they they only produce 130 mega hash. The iPolo uh, Mini Plus cl Classic uh, 280 mega hash, and the iPolo V1 Mini ones I have are uh, 300 mega hash with 240 watts at uh, 3.99. You may get a better price, but that's that's uh, how much they are running for these days. Anyway, I, go, I hope you guys enjoyed this content today. Let me know if you plan to mine Okta. I don't think mining with GPUs are um, profitable yet. Uh, so I'm going to keep using my these ASIC miners. Let me know if you plan to switch your ASIC mine. If you have one of these guys, if you plan to switch to Okta. Uh, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.